1992. Hello again, everybody. I'm Mary Hart. Thanks for joining us. And I'm John Tesh. Hollywood has a tendency toward the trendy. Trendy cars, trendy bars, trendy neighborhoods of the stars. Hollywood's latest trend, glasses that help stars make spectacles of themselves. these stars wanted was the four-eyed kind. They needed glasses for their movie roles and they all came to the same person, Cheryl Schumann. Cheryl used to work as an optician till she spied a big opportunity in Hollywood. People used glasses for films and instead of shopping all over town, she could bring the glasses to them. What I did is I went over to this film, uh, showed Shirley MacLaine some glasses for a movie that we were working on. She was overwhelmed. She was very happy because she had 200 frames to choose from instead of two or three. The director was very happy. The property master was happy. The costume designer was happy. And when I went home that night, I thought, gosh, this is a great idea for a business. Since then, she has fitted everyone from Thelma and Louise to Tom Cruise to Stallone and Garth. At first, it's constrictive. But after a while, it becomes a part of you. Sometimes the glasses she gives the stars become trendsetters, like those for Meg Ryan in When Harry Met Sally. They sold tens of thousands of units, which is absolutely unheard of for an eyeglass manufacturer. But that's nothing compared to the half a million pair of sunglasses that sold after fans saw them on Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2. The filmmakers wanted to use a trendier pair on Arnold, but Cheryl said that since he takes them from a biker, they should look tough. My feeling was, who's going to believe that a redneck biker guy is going to wear a $400 pair of designer, very preppy and hip, wonderful glasses? So I felt it was very important to do a biker glass, and it ended up everyone else agreed also. Cheryl's prices sometimes raise an eyebrow. These custom-made shades for Bugsy cost $10,000. And for the upcoming sequel to the comedy Weekend at Bernie's, she's designing a $25,000 pair for Bernie, as well as hundreds of choices for stars Andrew McCarthy and Jonathan Silverman. I think about myself. I have no taste. Now watch with the doctor, will you? <laughs> My biggest fan. She has also framed Sharon Gless for her role in the TV movie Honor Thy Mother. And she's outfitting the cast of Mr. Saturday Night starring Billy Crystal. Crystal's co-star David Famer says glasses are important in the film because the film spans several decades and they help set the style. We're in 1950s now and um, we've got these numbers, you know. And then we have night scenes in 1970 with like the aviator glasses and then into 92, the, the more modern. Cheryl also makes a mint when many pairs of glasses are needed for each scene in a film, such as this one in Terminator 2, where Arnold's glasses get broken. They reshot that scene over 20 times. They drop to the floor and he steps on them. And they're $200 a pair. So it was like step, crunch, step, crunch, step, crunch, over and over again. But I was looking and I was going, ch -ch -ching, ch -ch -ching. <laughs> Cheryl Schumann is now focused on her latest big movie assignment, Glasses for Michelle Pfeiffer and Michael Keaton in Batman Returns. Wonder how much they'll cost.